Good morning, my beautiful bikers, radiant runners, and other endurance friends. Matt Mossman, co-founder of Endurly, the maker of premium supplements for endurance athletes and endurance training and supplement expert. Hey, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things in the whole world, and that is carbohydrate requirements for endurance athletes and basically how much you should be eating and how to time them for uh, optimal endurance performance. So real quick today, we're gonna talk about how many carbohydrates you should be eating on a daily basis, how much and how to time them before exercise, uh, how much you should be taking in during exercise, and then finally, how much you should be taking in after endurance exercise uh, to replace muscle glycogen stores and promote optimal recovery. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it. Uh, this will be a quick and dirty version. Uh, if you want more details or want the kind of geeky scientific explanation behind all this, just uh, leave a comment and I will respond. So carbohydrate requirements on a daily basis for an endurance athlete should be eight to 10 grams per kilogram body weight. Uh, and this is gonna help basically restore muscle glycogen levels uh, after uh, doing workouts on a daily basis. Now the eight to 10 gram range is really gonna depend on, you know, for example, how many miles you're running or biking or how hard uh, you're running or biking. Obviously, if you're not training quite as hard, the eight grams per kilogram body weight will do fine. Whereas you get into more intense training blocks that you might wanna go up to the 10 grams per kilogram body weight. So on a daily basis, eight to 10 grams per kilogram body weight. Now, carbohydrate amounts and timing leading up to exercise should look something like this. About three to four hours before exercise, you wanna eat 300 to 400 grams of carbohydrates. And basically what this is gonna do is top off your muscle glycogen stores. We all know glycogen is uh, the primary fuel source for endurance exercise and when it's broken down into glucose to fuel muscular contractions and help you keep going uh, longer and stronger uh, during your ride or run. So after that, 60 minutes before exercise, you can slam another 50 to 75 grams of carbohydrates if needed and if you can stomach it. Then you go down to uh, immediately before exercise and you can do another 50 grams there uh, if you feel like you need it and again, if you can feel like you can stomach it. So that's leading up to your, uh, your training session. Now, when you begin exercising, uh, carbohydrates are gonna vary a little bit based on the duration uh, of the exercise. If you're going zero to 30 minutes, you really don't need any carbs. Um, you have plenty of muscle glycogen to get you through uh, your training session or workout. Now, 30 minutes up to two hours, you wanna go with about 30 grams of carbohydrate per hour, and this can be in the form of a sports drink, chews. Um, you know, it's really your preference, what you feel is palatable and your stomach can handle. Um, as you go to the two to three hour mark, you might wanna up your carbohydrate to 60 grams an hour. And again, your source of fuel is really up to you. Uh, some people like the ease and convenience of just having a, a sports drink, while some like to mix sports drinks, again, with like gels or chews. So two to three hours, you're looking at about 60 grams of carbs. Now, as you go three hours and beyond, up to 90 grams of carbs an hour is recommended. Now, that's, that's a lot of carbs. Um, it may cause stomach discomfort in some, um, but there is a lot of cool new research out, uh, and we'll talk about this in a different video, about how to train the gut uh, to be able to basically stomach that amount of carbs and get a uh, performance benefit out of it. So that's carbs uh, during endurance exercise. Now after endurance exercise, immediately after, you wanna consume one to 1.5 grams uh, within 30 minutes of ending uh, your endurance activity, and then another one to 1.5 grams every two hours um, for four to six hours thereafter. So here's the bottom line. No other macronutrient is more important for fueling endurance performance than, than carbohydrates, uh, bar none. I mean, carbs are the primary fuel source for endurance exercise. Um, so that's about it. Um, go have yourself some carbs and stay fueled, stay focused, stay fast.